What's up guys, let's be Jimmy here and today I have a really really interesting video for you guys There's a few things that have been updated in online and as well as a few things that have been confirmed And I want to share these with you and basically just discuss everything that we know so far before we get started with this video Let's go for this video Four likes. Let's go. Last video, we got three likes, which was outstanding. Let's go for four on this video. And of course, if you guys are new to my channel, I recommend you do hit that subscribe button below so you always get notified whenever I upload a news or informational video like this. I upload daily information, news, much, much more. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you never miss another video like this. So as you guys already know, we got the minivan just the other day in GTA 5 Online because you guys know Rockstar's releasing three new lowriders every single week of April. So the first week was already done, which was the tornado, then the minivan, and now this is Saber week, which means there's a bunch of discounts, bunch of shit just going on in online. It's insane, XP bonuses, free mechanics, just insane stuff that is going on. And this is all for the release of the Saber GT, which is coming this Tuesday coming up. So after the weekend, this Tuesday, we're gonna be getting the Saber GT, which is pretty awesome, dude. I'm super hyped, I'm super ready, and I'm just, I'm finally ready for the last lowrider to come in because honestly, I'm just getting tired of it. I just want this vehicle to come in online already. And by the way, the Saber GT is actually my favorite. I've customized this on the PC using mods, and it's honestly amazing. So you guys are definitely gonna be in store for some really awesome content when the Sabre GT comes out. But apparently the double RP race playlist has been launched with three playlists featuring supercars, lowriders, and mixed terrain, which is great, dude. That's awesome. And I want to give credit to FunMW2 for actually leaking this first. Seems like the tunables were updated and we're getting XP bonuses, free mechanic, rebates on tattoos, haircuts, properties, some clothes, and maybe more. So this is awesome, dude. This is honestly insane. We're getting rebates on everything. We're Literally, this is the best time to save mad money in GTA. I love it when Rockstar add these like rebates to GTA Online or just in general, just huge, huge discounts on items that we have received in the past and now we're able to buy them it's better for us because a lot of us really don't have the money to just go spend like that. A lot of us don't really just have the cash to just go throw away. So this is awesome and this is going to be definitely great for you if you guys don't have all the money to just, you know, go spend. This is going to be great for you guys. Maybe you can get some of the DLC content that you maybe couldn't get in the past. So enjoy discounts on tattoos and haircuts and lowrider earrings and chains and lowers and shoes and hats and lowriders clothes. It's it's honestly insane right now. There are so many discounts in GTA Online. We also have discounts, 15% discount to be exact, on the penthouse interiors. That is awesome, dude. If you guys haven't already bought your penthouse interiors, which if you guys don't know is a customizable apartment, which has all these awesome, really cool customizations you can do inside the apartment. So if you guys want to go get that, definitely this would be the time to do so. It is 15% off. That is such a good deal, dude. I am so glad that Rockstar has added this in this weekend. And they always do this and and lately it's been a lot with the lowriders they have been doing it a lot more often with lowriders just because we've been getting one lowrider each week it seems like every time they're about to do a lowrider or release a lowrider they do this weekend thing where there's discounts extra you know xp bonuses and money as well and then they release the lowrider then it's like rinse and repeat they keep on doing the same thing but of course they're discounting different things every single time which is pretty awesome so they're going like one by one each item and as well guys enjoy 50% discounts to all tattoos in GTA Online. So that's pretty awesome as well. If you guys like tattoos and you're interested in that, I definitely would go save your money and go purchase some tattoos this weekend so you guys can save that cash in GTA 5 Online. You'll also get 50% discounts to all hairstyles and tattoos, 15% discounts to penthouse suites and stilt houses, and as well as 25% discounts to lowrider accessories. So I mean, dude, that's a lot of money that you can save right now GT online if you guys have any desire whatsoever of getting any of this content I recommend you guys go online this weekend purchase as much stuff as you can try to get everything down off your list okay and just get 
everything in general because once this is gone you won't have the rebates anymore you guys won't have this so i would definitely recommend you guys do this now or if you guys really don't give a crap then don't do it but honestly this is pretty insane that rockstar is doing this and i love it like i said when they do something like this because it gets everyone hyped it lets everyone know get ready there is a dlc or something just coming along the way or an update just in general coming along the way so i'm pretty ready for this and i'm hyped and i'm honestly super excited to see the saber gt come this tuesday so i'm really ready for that and i hope you guys are as well the one thing that i was actually upset about that i found out is this is a uh, another week apparently where rockstar has not done double gta cash events and uh, that's kind of a big deal because a lot of people need money in gta and a lot of you guys like to grind during these double money events Oh God, especially these double money events. If you are a legit player, you know what I'm talking about. You guys going online, you go hardcore mode. You try to get first every single time. You guys work on those events a lot and you guys grind the whole entire day as much as you can to get as much money as possible. I mean, I have heard about people getting a few million within a day, maybe like two or three guys at the most, but that's insane. Like you guys have to be grinding hella to get that much and it seems like rockstar didn't want to do it this week or last week which is pretty weird i mean people need money in gta so i kind of find that pretty odd and i know that maybe maybe a lot of you guys have probably already hit up rockstar about this i'm not too sure why they're doing this maybe they want more people to buy shark cards and use that shark card money or maybe they just didn't really feel like it. Maybe they feel like they've been adding the double money too much. Maybe you guys are making too much money from it, which straight up is kind of fucked up. I mean, if you guys are actually trying to make money and they don't want you to make money, they want you to buy shark cards, well, you kind of see where it's coming from. Kind of sucks though, okay? No no way to make double money this week. There's no double money events, which is, which is kind of shit, but you still have all these discounts. 50% discounts to all hairstyles and tattoos, 15% discounts to penthouses and stilt houses. You also have 25% discounts to all lowriders accessories. You have XP bonus, you have the free mechanic, you have so much, just so, so much, dude, in GT Online right now that you guys can use to your advantage. So go right ahead and do so. I know a lot of people that are gonna tell me, Jimmy, no one really gives a crap about double RP. Like, who the fuck needs double RP? Like, am I worried about ranking up? No, I wanna make money. I want to make cash. I need the cash to buy these items. I need the cash to buy the penthouse interiors and I need my cash to buy tattoos. So I see where you guys are coming from, but for some reason, Rockstar hasn't done it these past two weeks, which is kind of shit. And I, I, I'm saying this to you, Rockstar. You should really, whenever you're about to do like, when you do a weekend hype, whenever you do something like this that just happened today, well, you should really have double money in every single one so people don't always have to buy shark cards, you know? Because I, I know a lot of people don't really have the money to do that. But yes, we have a shit ton of items on rebate. We also have a confirmation that the Saber GT, this is the week, and we are ready for it to release this Tuesday so I'm pretty excited I'm pretty hyped and I hope you guys are as well but again I do want to point out that there will be double RP event playlists this weekend even though it's not money there still is RP so if you guys are definitely down to level up maybe you and your friends can tag along and if you don't have any friends that are online right now I definitely recommend you leave your gamer tag down below and you guys regroup as a team as a community and play with each other and just have fun and honestly I'm just lost for words here I'm kind of upset dude I'm really it's getting Getting to me guys it is the double money events why are they here why has this been the second week of this not being here I mean dude it's like one of the main things that we hope for whenever we get something like a weekend event and we get all these discounts we hope that there's some type of double money and whenever there's no double money it starts it starts to f feel like this is just just a waste of time like I'd rather have double money than all of these discounts honestly there's been a lot of people struggling in online lately and I've been trying to help you guys by giving you money I give you guys gift cards I give you guys I do a lot of giveaways here on my channel mostly on my Twitter though I give away a lot of codes on Twitter maybe if you're first to a video like if this video you got first you know I'd give you something so I try to do my part and help you guys as much as possible when it comes to money in GTA 
and I know how much you guys need it. I know the struggle. So I try to help you guys as much as possible. And honestly, anytime and every time we get these weekend events, we should really get double money events. I mean, I think it's needed and I think everyone can agree. One like equals you agree with this and you definitely think GTA 5 should have these double money events whenever they're doing a weekend event type thing. Honestly, at this point, it's my personal opinion, but you guys can think of it for yourself. I mean, honestly, a lot of people need money in online whenever a weekend event comes along. I definitely think we need double money in GTA 5 online. Just that extra cash, dude, to make in GTA and get ready for whatever DLC that may be coming up, you know? So that's why I think double money is definitely needed and like I said if we could go for four likes that would be awesome guys if we could go for four likes that would be insane and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new so you never miss another video like this I upload daily news information and much much more so if you guys want to stay tuned and keep up to date with my content make sure you guys are subscribed so you never miss another video like this from me anyways guys I love you love you love you take care and I'll see you in the next one